Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to square this kind of binomial. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the given direction, square each binomial and simplify. And currently, for this topic, we have three different examples for me to give you on how to shorten the solution on how to expand or square these binomials. So before we start, let's try this one. Actually, guys, if you have x plus 4 to the second power, that is the same as x plus 4 times x plus 4. We can expand this given binomial into this form. Meaning, if we can expand this into this form, we can use this method. We can use the FOIL method. So by the way guys, review muna tayo. Before tayo magpunta sa mismong solution natin, let me give you an idea kung paano ba yung process ng FOIL method compared sa gagawin nating process later on. So if meron tayong x plus 4 times x to the plus 4, using the FOIL method, you will multiply the first terms. So this is this is the first terms. x times x, that is x squared. Followed by the O, which is the outer terms, that is the x and 4, that is x times 4. So that should be plus 4x. And after that, we have the letter I, which represents the inner terms. So 4x, 4 times x, that is another 4x. And lastly, for the L, we have the last terms, meaning that is 4 times 4, which is plus 16. After using the FOIL method, what we need to do is to combine this middle term because they are like terms. We have 4x plus 4x, that should be 8x, and then copy x squared plus 16. And this is now the square of x plus 4 square, or the expanded form of this given binomial. For this today's video, we have the square of binomial. We will try to use this pattern. So let me put some separation here. We have the pattern on how to shorten the process on how to do this. So our pattern is this. If we have a plus b square, we can do this like this. What we need to do is to square the first term, which is a, that is a square. Then to get the second term, we will try to multiply the first term and the second term. a times b is ab times 2, that is plus 2ab. Then after that, square the last term, so that is plus b and then square. So again, let's have a review on how to get this pattern. We have the given a plus b square. So what we need to do is we will square the first term, which is a, and that's it, a square. To get this 2ab, multiply the first and second term. a times b is ab, and then always multiply it by 2. That is 2ab. And then copy the sign in the middle term. That is positive. Next, to get this b square, square the second term or the last term, b square. That is b square. And another possible given is that if the middle term is negative or the middle sign is negative, like this one, we have a minus b square. So to expand this one into square of binomials, same pattern, square this, we have a square. Multiply the two terms, a times b is ab times 2, that is 2ab. And as for the sign of the second term, copy this negative sign. So, meron tayo itong minus. Lastly, square the last term, b square. So, plus b square. So, after that, after explaining the pattern, let's now try to use this pattern in this given example compared to the FOIL method. So, let's try. We have x plus 4 square. So how are we going to apply this pattern? 
So as you can see, the middle term is positive, guys. The middle term is positive, meaning we will use the first pattern. Okay, in the first term, x, x squared. Second, 2ab. Multiply this 2, or first copy the sign, positive, and always multiply it by 2, times your first term, times your second term. Okay? Then lastly, square the last term, which is plus 4 square. So let's again, let's re review. First term is x, x square. To get the second term, 2ab, 2 times the first term, times the second term. Then copy the sign. For the last term, second term, square it, and let's simplify. x square, that is x square, 2 times x is 2x times 4, that is plus 8x. And then plus your first square is definitely 16. And this is now the answer. As you can see, if we were going to compare the answer, they are the same. Using the FOIL method and the square of binomial using these patterns. Now, for you to understand well this kind of examples on how to square binomials, let's have two more examples for it. Okay? These are the patterns, guys. Let's have number 2. In number 2, we have x plus 10 square. So, using this pattern, what we need to do is this. I will use a red pen. Let's try. I will use this pattern. Eh? This is your first term. So, that is x square. Second, plus 2 times the first term is x. The second term is 10 times 10. Lastly, b square, last term, square the last term, that is 10 square, and simplify this one. So what we have is x square, 2 times x is 2x, times 10, that is 20x. So that this is plus 20x. And this one, 10 squared, is the same as 10 times 10. So that should be 100. So this is now the answer, guys. As easy as that. By the way, guys, I don't get me wrong. You can still use the FOIL method if you want. But I'm giving you this pattern or the special product in which it will save you time. Let's add number 3. In number 3, we are given 2x minus 3 squared. Since this one is negative, we will use the second pattern. So what we need to do is this. Square the first term. 2x, so that is 2x, and then enclose it by parenthesis. Squared. Then for the middle term, minus, always multiplied by 2, times your first term. 2x times, I'm going to adjust this one times the second term which is 3 okay and lastly square the last term 3 square so how are we going to simplify this I'm going to just the writings here ang 2 square natin is the same as 2x times 2x so that is 4x square for this part huh? Next, let's go here. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x times 3. That is negative 12x. And for the last part, 3 squared is the same as plus 9. And this is now the answer for the problem, guys. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video. And for your assignment, I will give you two examples. Number 4. This is your assignment. Huh? We have x plus 5 square. And for number 5, we have x minus 11 square. I hope na makita ko sa comment section ang sagot nyo sa problem nito. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget 
to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!